Sure. You must be tired after all that walking. Uh, I mean, you walked right through that entire song. Oh, yes. But you never, never seem to get anywhere. <laughs> no, because we're going around in circles. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Gosh, what a good song. If you don't get the Oscar for that song, I will personally be very angry. Oh, well, so will we. Yeah. <laughs> but, but people lose Oscars. Huh? People lose Oscars. Yeah, all the time. but that's such a good song. And a nice. lyric, it makes such a nice, yeah. good statement. It's a nice feeling. How's Maurice? He's, been... he's fine. He's sort of. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's got a bug. But he's been doing yeah, all that, that creeping stuff. That's going all. around. Someone's spreading that. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm... Some famous rock star I don't want to mention. <laughs> is giving that to everyone all over town. Yeah. Who? Yeah, really? I don't know. <laughs> Just thought I'd start yeah, a rumor. Like flies. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. there's some people on the set of this film are making sort of disappearing every day. Mm. Getting. There's so much love for you guys in this country and for your music, and we've almost just watched you grow and change and mature and develop right in front of our eyes. Uh, we yeah. seem to know a lot about you. Well, that's nice. It's, uh, what is nice is that we care a lot about the people in this country as well. It's a great, Mark. Yeah. And now, we've been blessed on several occasions with baby brother Andy. Oh, yes. And his appearance. Yes. Gee, he's terrific. Yeah, yeah. Now, isn't he in the wings waiting for uh, nights like this? No, 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 no. I mean, when Maurice has the bug, can't Andy jump in? Well, um, or has Andy got the bug? Uh, well, it, it, I, he did have a bug, didn't he? <laughs> well, well it would just now, be a small rash. Well, you can't Andy can step in for Morris. Yes. Well, the kind of situation can't arise. You see, Andy's like ten years a different thing. It, it's hard for Andy to do that. He, he would rather be a solo artist. Oh, inside, I think. Because it's been so long. <laughs> Normal cigarette. Oh, no, no. That's okay. I'll Did just... you test them? Yes. Was I... there writing on them? Uh, I've never looked myself. <laughs> Did we get a new shipment, Jack? Nobody scored. You mean Anne? <laughs> you notice how quiet they get in the band when you ask pertinent questions. Well, they've already had it. Yes. <laughs> uh, you mean Andy? Feels as though he's part of another generation's music and will not join. I don't join. think he feels that, but there's a big age difference between us and him. And were he to join us, he would constantly feel pressured by his older brothers, yeah. I think and it would affect his head. Can I interrupt uh, you? Surely, as I always do. Um, I think it's important for him to 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 do or whatever he achieves to to achieve them in his own way because uh, he he you know coming straight in uh, to, with us you know he's. It's, I don't think it would See, be good for his group, head. Robin, oh. you, you don't want him with the group, do you? Absolutely. Boy, not. I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> gun. How dare he have a hit? No, this is it. <laughs> and you produced it. How dare I? <laughs> You're his musical yes. advisor, aren't you? Yes. So and how I could he totally feel the pressure? It. I mean, he's really... If you're producing... No, no, no. He doesn't feel the pressure of me working with him in the studio. Yeah. He enjoys that, and we thoroughly enjoy working together. He would feel the pressure of being a Bee Gees. Oh, At such a I later see. stage, like... We've been doing what we've been doing for 22 years. Have and you, I didn't it's realize true. that. But hold it's on a second. We started very young. We don't... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, do, you remember yeah, the, do you remember the rumor when you started? The rumor was that the, they were the Beatles. Am I right? Yes, it's true. That went around the music business for a long time because the Beatles had such great hits at the time, people thought they were recording under yeah, another well, secret name. But what, else, what really happens in this business is that people, uh, a lot of people around that period of time were imitating the Beatles. Just about every group that walked imitated the Beatles right. around that period. Yeah. And the idea was that if you, if you managed to sound like the Beatles slightly and you also could write what is termed as a hit single, yeah. then the hype of the machine would go into action and your company would make sure that people thought you sounded like the Beatles or thought you were the Beatles. Because that works, it sells you. It was very it good attracts for us attention because we brought out a record called New York Mining Disaster. Yeah. No. Everybody, won. everybody thought it was the Beatles with a different name. Uh. And it established us with that first record because all the DJs uh, on, the, on radio stations in the States, you know, picked it up immediately thinking it was the Beatles and played it. And it was a hit on that uh, on, on that, that basis. basis. So you didn't run around and deny it right well, away. We didn't right? run around and deny it, even if John, even though John <laughs> Lennon, Lennon denied John it. Lennon. Yeah. But it was good for John Lennon to deny it on our behalf. <laughs> it, 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 it sort of established us in those early years because it, it helped our following record, which was nothing like the, the first one, you know, which was nothing like the Beatles. We'll be right back after this work. This family, uh, musically, are they very musical? 
Uh, our mother, our, our father used to have an orchestra. It's going back about 30 years. Yeah, and he told us about that. Yeah, on the Mecca said, so, well, there's no point in me telling you that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think he told the whole story. <laughs> no, well, maybe we can add a little to it. Um, he, he had an orchestra about 30 years back and used to do, used to work in the Mecca circuit in England, which is a lot of ballrooms yeah. and, um, still is. Say else? <laughs> no. Was it a hit orchestra? I mean, did he have a hit records? Well, he was sort of a fairly well-known man. I think a lot of our father's frustration for not quite making it goes into us. Yeah. I think it's uh, a hereditary thing. It's, we're carrying on from him. And, uh, I think he would like to think that too. Does he approve of your music? Sometimes, you know. Yeah. Sometimes. Does he comment? Of, well, sometimes he says, that's a load of bloody rubbish. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> and he's not even English, which is funny. Which is true. He's Russian. Yes, yeah, Russian. <laughs> but uh, he would, you know, he would say things like that. And one thing about Dad is that he would, uh, we would do a show and, he, and we'd come off stage and we'd be very pleased, but he would always find the criticisms. He would never say, great show. Yeah. Loved it. He would say, you bloody messed it up again, didn't you? <laughs> you know, he would they pick on a certain song in the show and say, you know, you should throw that out. Robin, bloody terrible. Yeah. But that's like a great <laughs> athletic coach. I mean, they do that to oh, the yeah. players. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really good to, give you, to praise yourself yeah. within at any time. It's nice to have the shot of ego every now. We've never... Yeah, but, but what happened was our objective became to please Dad. When we'd come off stage, we'd be wait, wait, and when we please him, we'd know we were on the right track. He would keep at us at little things until those things became implanted in our minds. Now, they're here. They're in Florida. They're in Florida. And you're in Florida. That's true. But you no, remain here in Jolly Old. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> we, we, oh, call it, we call it Jolly Old here. Oh, right. Yeah, yes, I am. Ireland. I thought you said Charlie Old. No, 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 it's not Charlie Old. <laughs> Jolly Old. Jolly Old, yeah. You've chose to remain there. Until the next election. <laughs> now, you may, you may Are you be running saying, or what? Ah, you may be saying to yourself, why is, he, why is he waiting for the next election? Prime Minister Gibbs. This is it. You see, I mean, it, the openings are there. Now, I'm just waiting because they, the next government say they're going to bring down the taxes, is, and that is the reason everybody's leaving. Since when did you tax. start believing governments? Well, exactly, exactly. I mean, you know, it's... Um, although the taxes, get, the taxes in, in L.A. The are getting pretty for, high, aren't for, they? The for, for people in England are under a high earning bracket are 83%. Mm -hmm. In other words, every dollar that's made there, you pay 83 cents? No, every go. pound. <laughs> oh, every no, pound, sorry. that's right. <laughs> Which is every what is the pound worth now? Is it $2.40? No, 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 no. It's it, worth less than $2. It's better than it was. Is it? It's just, just under $2. Yeah, it's and, better than it that, was. And that, that's 83. Mm. And if you have uh, shares in a company or you have dividends coming in from anything, that, that is taxed at 98%. Yeah. So <laughs> when you get your dividends, you just send them on to the tax man because that's really... Um, but I've got a very good accountant and he was in from the beginning and uh, I the don't... <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding out in Nassau The thing is, right I now. don't pay that much tax mm. in England, you know, mm. but uh, the average fool does. The average fool does. <laughs> Mm, that's unbelievable. It's almost not under that kind of a system of taxation. It's almost not worth going to work. That's right. The, um, what is the word? Help. No. Oh. <laughs> it's another one. It's just like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's it. Mm. Um, no, um, the word is enthusiasm. There is no, in no, that's incentive, still not the word, but it's Incentive, good. incentive. The incentive. Yeah. the incentive is gone and, and the employers are gone. So the employees become more and more. They become less. Uh, people become more and more out of work. And that's, uh, is this, the people with the money this is not much of a plug for socialism. No. Not really. No, that's why the Labour government there is so unpopular. And they say when they get out, they'll be out for about 20 years because they are, they're affecting everybody right down the line. And this is what happens because the, 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 the workers uh, can't go out to work because they've got nobody to work for. All the people with the big money have gone. Yeah, You see, because they're the ones that are suffering with the tax. And this is, this is what happens. You have socialism, socialism and all the people at the top with the money that's going to supply all the, the work and the opportunities, they just move. They go abroad and they go where the money is and yeah, where the people are willing to work. That is sad. Yeah. Is there any kind of, is there a kind of democracy in your group? Do you all have equal votes yeah. on what you do? Because you did it, there was a radical change in your group in the early 70s in right. the sound. I mean, you yeah. left the... How do you mean broken heart? Very good. Was that good? <laughs> How can you mean a broken heart? But brother, Andy's got it. I, 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 he doesn't appreciate it when I do his imitation. Yes, he does. He laughed. Oh. Ah, I just want... Ah, I just want to be your everything. Is that good? Could I be a BG? No. no. Yeah. Uh, Could I be a BG? Yeah. 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 That was a radical change, though. What, well, for you? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> it was a simple operation. What do you mean? 
I mean, there was a big change in the sound of the Bee Gees in the there early was. 70s. Oh, you mean, and you... When we, when we started, started leaning to more, towards R&B, which is really a deep love of ours, we've always loved R&B music, and we've always been able to do it. It's just that uh, in our earlier days, it, it became natural for the kind of music we were doing. We had to keep on doing it in order to, in order to please the people who were buying that, our kind of music. And the Bee Gees music had become the Bee Gees music, and we couldn't get away from that. Yeah. So we had to keep see, writing in that vein. We're songwriters, and as songwriters, we feel uh, yeah. we feel our duty to explore all avenues in, in, instead of sticking to That's one. The strength of the group, it because you have ever. changed and you've grown yeah. and matured. Yeah. It just goes to show that change is strength, because you you have, you know, it's great. It's healthy to change. The moment Absolutely. we changed, we knew yeah. where we, we'd been going People wrong. People would say to us, well, "If you change, you won't be accepted." And they said, "Well, you know, that's what life's all no, about. You've got to change." Absolutely. Let me show them the album here at last. Bee Gees live. That's us. There they are. It certainly is. <laughs> but you're also red in this. Was it right yeah, after I'm a heavy sunburn? <laughs> after a week in Miami. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Griffith. Yes, yes, Mr. Griffith. <laughs> can I steal one of your cigarettes? No, I don't want to feel as though you steal them. Oh, well, can I? We do have a heavy <laughs> tax on these here in America, <laughs> but I do want you to feel as though you've selected that one <laughs> and that you can get that dreaded disease right here on camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's nothing worse than a reform smoker, right? <laughs> I used to smoke three packs a day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you did or well, you did? I did. You did. So my son used to walk in after seeing those commercials they had and say, ah, ah daddy, you're smoking cancer again. Uh, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> then I gave it up and found myself eating the drape, anything. Yeah. <laughs> and this, of course, the five, you five uh, original songs in Saturday Night Fever. Right. Six. Is it six? I believe six. six. Uh, how One, how deep is your love? No, <laughs> uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Wait, you counted uh, to yeah, that's Is that yours? Yeah, that's ours too. You have seven. Yeah. Here, you're even one short. Is well, it? but and staying alive is your new single. Yeah, that's just yeah. out. Yeah. Isn't that good? And already on its way up the charts. Yep. Mm. Well, there's no stopping the Bee Gees. Uh, I'm going to do a, a commercial. I'm going to come back and show you uh, the Bee Gees at work. Uh, uh, with their new hit, Staying Alive. Okay? Right after this message. Uh, Peter Frampton, the Bee Gees, George Burns, are all starring in Sgt. Pepper, uh, which Robert Stigwood is shooting. It's going to be one of the big movies of uh, this year. Uh, it, it, that's taken from the album of the Beatles. Oh, the music is taken from the Sgt. Pepper album, but also the White album and also Abbey Road. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you are uh, the Bee Gees of the Marching Band? We're Sergeant Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band. Oh, uh, Peter plays Billy Shears. Is he good? Uh, oh, yeah. You can um, act? Sure. Good. We're having a good time. That's a nice. real good time. That's nice. Yeah, it's coming on very well. Well, I don't want to hold them up for uh, a minute. I want you to all hear the Bee Gees' new, uh, new hit. Say it on! <laughs> See, that is good. I love that. That's the way to present a song on television, right out there in that disaster area. <laughs> yeah. Was that right after taxation? That was just after. My <laughs> word. That's not the neighborhood, is it, Robin? That's where I live. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Two cents on the dollar, huh? Yeah. Where was that filmed? That was uh, filmed on the old combat set. Yeah, you know the TV show combat? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that was uh, filmed on that. That, that uh, train scene at the end, uh, that was in um, was it Butch Cassidy. Was he there? No, no. <laughs> that was the, the set. The train. The train, oh. the, the train there. Uh, yeah. Butch Cassidy. There was a, there oh, was a train. Just there. next to where Bus Butch Cassidy and it was killed at the end yeah. of the... Right. Oh, yeah. Do you go out on concert tour when you finish Sgt. Pepper? No, what we do when we finish Sgt. Pepper is we all have collective nervous breakdowns. Um, no, you have those together too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, always. Um, no, we all in go... unison or in harmony? <laughs> Don't push your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, in harmony. In harmony. We, go, we all go home to our respective homes uh, for about a month and then we get together and make an album, our new album, we come out in summer. We uh, tour America in summer, July next year. Good. And uh, we also go to Russia next year, which would be a little nice. Oh, uh, they'll yeah. be thrilled, I'm sure. Which, which, um, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Mustn't applaud Russia. <laughs> Commies. And my other workers. <laughs> which we hope uh, will be televised back here. We believe that's what's being set up. Oh, well, that would be, yeah. You know, you know. That'd be a fascinating show. Yeah. Well, Mrs. Ford just went over there and, uh, oh, and did uh, the ballet. She got back already. Oh, yeah, she yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just got out and came right through the Iron Curtain. She did. 
Um, you don't live too far, you don't venture too far, recording-wise, from that one particular studio in Florida, no, do you? Criteria. Criteria. So it was the best in the world. It's, yeah, that's the place where everybody dies to get an appointment to record, right? <laughs> It's well, that, uh, it's it that is, popular it, a studio, right? It is a very right? popular Actually, studio. Sometimes you have to book a, a, year, a year ahead, you know? How does that happen? But because you just go in and say, can I have a no, studio? No, 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 no. I mean, the popularity <laughs> of a studio like that, because uh, all of a sudden word gets around, oh, this is the best studio. Right. And everybody runs there for a couple right. of years. Right. Then suddenly they found one down in Muscle Shoals. Yeah. And then, or Muscle San Mateo. Muscle still quite popular. Is this? But, uh, but in actual fact, Criteria was the beginning, I think. Uh, uh, it's where Aretha Franklin made all the early records. It's... Uh, and it's, now, it's where the Eagles made one of these nights and uh, quite a bit of Hotel California. Is that, oh, did the Eagles uh, do that? Yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Record that. they recorded Hotel actually. California in Florida? Yeah. I believe, no, the, well, you know, I mean, we could be wrong. We could be wrong, Eagles. No, the Hotel California <laughs> is the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yes. That's the, that, I think that, some of it was recorded That's in the Miami. picture on the album. They right. did one of these nights there anyway. Yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, most, uh, most everybody rushes down there now to mm -hmm. record. Uh, will you do the whole album there? Oh, yeah. 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 We do all our recordings. Is that located right in Miami? Yeah, about 20 yeah. minutes from our homes. Pop, uh, Robin's, about a day from his home. About 2,000 miles from Miami. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a seven hour flight. You two fellas have been up since early hours in the morning getting your makeup on and ready for that shooting out there. I know. I've, I've really got to get back an eye on my pantyhose. I know. <laughs> One of those scenes yeah, tomorrow, huh? My sequin yes. outfit, <laughs> my green number. Yeah. <laughs> I thank you both for coming out. Thank Great. you. And my best tomorrow. Thank you. Darren Robin, the Beatles. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Cheerio. Thank you. And we'll be right back with Robert Wagner. What would you think if I said?